So I'm gonna be talking about what I think is the most important decision you're gonna be making in this entire process. And that's the company that you choose to trial with. Because the company that you hopefully have a successful trial with is the company that you will then be getting a permanent device from. And you wanna make sure that it offers a permanent device that fits your pain and lifestyle needs. In the description, I have links to every company's device portfolio. You'll notice that some are more elaborate than others, but this will allow you to do sort of a side-by-side -side comparison when it comes to the factors I'll be discussing. So factor number one is the battery. Do you want an internal or external battery? Most companies only offer an internal implantable battery that's about the size of a pacemaker. However, companies like Nalu and Stimwave offer an external battery setup that's much less invasive. Also, rechargeable versus non-rechargeable battery. Certainly, it's convenient to not have to charge, but rechargeable batteries often have a longer battery life, which means fewer surgeries to keep your device going. Now you're gonna look at MRI compatibility, especially if you're someone who needs frequent imaging, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you can get a device that is MRI compatible. Another thing is paresthesia or that tingling sensation that patients talk about experiencing when they're receiving relief from their device. Now, many companies offer paresthesia free therapy so that you don't have what is sometimes an uncomfortable sensation in order to get your pain relief. You're also gonna to wanna to look at the company's lead and paddle portfolio. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a previous video I made breaking down those two concepts because I know it can be a bit confusing, but essentially the more lead and paddle configurations a company offers, the better. Next, you're gonna to wanna to look at any unique features or advancements a company is making that may prove advantageous for your pain needs. For example, Medtronic offers adaptive stim. So backtracking a bit, simulation is often impacted by your body's position. So for example, if you go from standing up to laying down, the intensity of your stimulation will increase because of the relationship between your spinal cord and the paddle or leads. Adaptive stim learns your body's position and allows you to have continuous even keel relief no matter what position your body's in. Abbott offers a type of device called a DRG or a dorsal ganglion simulator that is meant to specifically target lower body pain. Boston Scientific not only allows you to have multiple therapies running at once, but is continually adding to its portfolio with things like the FAST and contour therapy. And also, after you've looked at some of these factors, you're going to want to talk to patients who have a device with that company because patient experience is invaluable. You're likely going to learn things that doctors and company reps won't be telling you. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always contact the company to get things clarified so that you can be confident in the decision that you're making. I hope this video helps. I will be ending with a bit of a bullet point thing that you can screenshot. So you can be looking at the different factors while you're comparing the device portfolios and hopefully make the best decision for your health. So I love you guys. Hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon.